how important is truth to you? We live in a world where people talk about my truth as if somehow you can create your own version of the truth. To me, facts are facts. The truth is what it is. It's the truth. People feel, whether it's been in the US or the UK with Boris Johnson, they feel like there's been a departure from truth being an important factor of leadership. A hundred percent. I mean, look, look, tr truth is essential. We have to agree that there's a certain reality to the world we live in. And if we can just create our own facts, then we're never going to be able to agree on anything or never really be able to do policy in a way that makes sense. And so, yes, it's not your truth or my truth. It's the truth. You went to Yale and Harvard. Um, it was described as a blue-collar kid from Tampa among the communist millionaires. <laughs> you said you were the only person to leave either of those places more conservative than you started. I think so. I mean, you know, I wasn't political when I got there, because where I came from, I didn't know if you were a Republican, Democrat. When I got there, you, know, you had a lot of militant leftism. One of Yale's mottos is for God, for country, for Yale. But you get in the classroom, no way. I mean, it was very anti-religion, particularly Christianity, and very anti-Americanism, and really adopting a lot of the left-wing uh, mantras of the day. And I kind of rebelled against that, because I'm like, wait a minute, you know, I'm proud to be an American. Uh, I wouldn't be here if I if in any other country, perhaps. And so this is something that, that I rejected. And then by the time I got to, to Harvard, I was already set. They weren't going to change me. It's, what's extraordinary is to watch the way campus, campus sort of ideology is gone. I mean, if it was bad then, it's immeasurably worse now. This Way woke worse. ideology has got a grip, not just in America, but in the UK and around the world. It's not good for them because when they get into the real world, their assumptions have never been questioned. Mm. You should want your assumptions questioned. A university is about pursuing truth. It's about rigor and academic integrity and giving people the foundation so they can think for themselves and be citizens of the Republic, not to impose ideology. We want there to be free speech on campus. We want the professors to come from a wide variety of viewpoints. You can't have every professor having the same leftist dogma in the class. That's mm. not good education. Right. I mean, I lost a job because I disbelieved Meghan Markle. There you her, go. With her claims of racism against the royal family. I said, I don't believe her. So I had to leave my job. <laughs> I mean, it was completely insane. When you think about it, yeah. now I'd be fired for believing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Right? That's true. I mean, it's true. Um, when you Although, my, I'll tell you, though, my book beat Prince. You know, his, his book had come out earlier, number one, and then when I became number you one, off, I, I was higher than Prince Harry. We're all very grateful. <laughs> but what, do you, what do you make of those two? Do you have a view of them? I, I don't. I mean, you know, I think that um, I really respected the queen. I mean, I mm. think she was uh, really elegant, and I think her stoicism, and, and I think it was really good. You know, as the, the younger generations, it's a little bit more mixed. I mean, that's just the reality. Are they annoying? I think for some they are. I mean, look, I I'm not involved in that, Malou. <laughs> I just kind of focus on, but I think for some Americans they can be.